Hello, I'm Merlin de Bobis, and I'm reading from my latest poetry book, Accidents of Composition. This is the book. I'm reading two poems. The first is the story of Blue. And this poem has a, an epigraph uh, from the book of Hugh Dyson Walker entitled East Asia, A New History. And I quote, brought to China from Iran, cobalt was called Huqing, Muslim blue. She circumnavigates the rim of the cup with a finger, once for worry, twice for deep thought. Now it's six times underwater in the sink, but pausing on a chip only her seasoned finger knows. A world wounded six times over, she sighs, tracing the Chinese pagoda still as blue as the willow swaying in that breeze she swears she feels when she sips her tea. It's the only cup left of great-grandmother's willow pattern set, sent home to London two decades after the family stint with the East India Company. Too much breaking through the years, but always there was tea. Through the opium wars, five cups out of six. The Indian Rebellion, four cups. Then the First World War in England. Two later wrapped in grandmother's wedding dress sailed all the way to Sydney. White and blue, as blue as the sky. Her mother used to tell her, a blue to die for, as her brother did on the Kokoda track. Again she hears how it shattered at her mother's feet when the letter came. So, this orphan cup. Again she pauses on the chip, but only her finger knows. Only a tiny pin it was cup against the tap after her guest had left. After he had asked, who's blue? Who's sky? Who's orphanhood? How dare he shatter their history? Five cups, then four, then two, then one. But only a tiny ping of anger it was at this sink. One can't be precious about breakage these days. TV news is infested with it and the shards we sweep under the carpet to survive. But she remembers the blue bit that cut her hand when she helped her mother clean up after. Bit of that willow swaying in the breeze as if it were a balmy spring day. She'd never seen so much red on the white tea towel. So how dare he ask her about the other colors? This son of hers come home after another war in the East, eyes bloodshot and speaking in tongues. That blue is not English or Chinese, mum. It's Muslim blue. Don't you know that? And the story is not always about us. She circumnavigates the rim of the cup with a finger. The sixth spin longing to round her world, wounded by the wound of her own blood. Indeed, the story is not always about us, especially in love at the time of COVID. It has to be love that crosses borders. It has to be love that is planetary. From the first urge, no, from the inkling of an urge, perhaps way before time, before the Big Bang, when black holes, matter and antimatter, and space were yet light years unknown to each other. 
This is the astronomy of our chance to meet, even with the most strange, most distant, and evolved by accident something even stranger, a ringed planet, a newborn star, or this thing called Earth. So, sweetheart, from the other side of the globe, ocean, river, field, mountain, wall, barbed wire, or the border of tanks and guns, faceless yet to each other, there is hope for us. Indeed, if we have that kind of love in this time of COVID, there is hope for all of us. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you very much.